How's it going everyone? So in the previous video, I showed you how to do a box offset and I explained kind of why you would want to use these things. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about using uh, a 90 degree bend uh, or uh, bending uh, conduit into a 90 degree angle. Um, and why would you want to do that? Well, uh, simple. If you have a box down here and you have a box up here, uh, you have to get that conduit, you have to bend that 90 degrees to fit into this box. Okay. So there's a couple steps you have to do, uh, you have to follow when you uh, are doing a 90 degree bend, uh, and I'm going to go over them now. So the first thing you want to do when you are bending that 90 degree uh, bend into a second box is you want to figure out where the back of the bend will be. Now what that means is from this point here where the connector was to the very back edge of this connector here, uh, that's your back of bend. So if you were to draw a line here, I drew one just so it can illustrate a lot nicer. If you consider this a wall, you don't want that conduit to go past that, that, uh, that edge or that wall or, or whatever you, you want to call it. It's kind of, think of it as a little, a little border. You don't want your conduit to go past that. Um, so you want to figure out your distance between the, the box here, your, your connector, where the pipe is actually going to be seated in, to the, your back of your bed. So you're going to take your tape measure and you're going to measure this and what I have here is 20 and 3 quarters of an inch. So there is my back of bend at that point, 20 and 3 quarters of an inch. Now you figured out the 20 and 3 quarters of an inch so I'm going to uh, mark that down on my conduit. So again I am doing this in Sharpie, please don't do that in Sharp. do this in Sharpie. 20 and 3 quarters so you're going to measure from the end where the connector is actually seated on the on the uh, conduit itself and where the where the pipe would actually seat fully into that conduit 20 and 3 quarters so i'm going to mark right here 20 and 3 quarters now that is the basically the border where you want that uh, conduit to be so if i line it up i'm going to draw all the way around this and you can kind of see right there that now lines up with this but if we were to start our bend at this point um, and you were to bend going this way, once the bend starts, all your bend would be up here. So your uh, 90 would actually end up roughly about here, which means you have to redo your offset down low. Uh, it's a lot of extra work. So what every bender comes with is this thing uh, called a take back or a uh, stub, uh, it stubs too. Um, so with a half inch bender, and this is the ones that you guys will be using uh, for this, for this uh, purpose here, uh, for half inch conduit, uh, it says stubs to five inches. Now what that means is if I take my uh, initial mark of what I had here and I mark lower by five inches or, or basically mark back by five inches um, from here to here, that's my new mark. So you can see there is a difference uh, in the marks. I'll just get that a bit more all the way around. Okay, and we have our second mark here. That mark is actually where you're going to uh, start your 90 degree bend. So when we set up our pipe, we have our two marks here. This was the first one, this is the back of bend. Um, and that's the full length you want that pipe to be. You don't want to go past that point. This is the second mark uh, we took back five inches uh, or because the stub on the, on the bender itself is a five inch uh, take back. And you're gonna line up that conduit uh, with the arrow or with your, uh, the top piece there, uh, the top little mark on the, on the bender there. And you're gonna make sure your offset is at this point, because you're bending in this fashion here, you want this offset that you created originally to be facing, you, you kind of have to think uh, ahead of time on how you're gonna bend this, but you want that to be facing this way because when it goes on the wall and it bends, you want that offset to be facing out. All right, so now we have our pipe set up and we are, uh, just like I showed you, you're gonna have your offset off to the, uh, the one side, your uh, line is, is uh, set up uh, to be in line with the bender itself, where the start of the bend actually uh, starts. Um, and then this is your back of bend uh, mark here. So you're gonna put the bender on the ground, making sure this pipe doesn't slide. This has to stay fairly solid. And at that point, you're going to take your foot, and you're going to put it on the end of the bender here and you're going to bend up in one solid motion keeping pressure on that pipe and bender at all times okay just like this now the reason for that is if you don't 
you can actually kink the pipe or elongate that 90, which causes issues. Okay, so once you have that all done, you can actually take, and you're fairly confident that's a 90, you can actually take your level, put it right on the bender itself. As long as the bubble lines up in the 90 degree mark or in the uh, in level there on your pipe, you have a 90. So once you've created your 90, you now have to check it to make sure it is at a proper 90 degrees. Best way to do that is to find something that's square, uh, whether it's the corner of a table uh, where the two 90 degree ends meet or the two sides meet at a 90 degree point. Uh, you could use a square uh, like I have, um, and you're just going to put your, your conduit on the, um, on the square like this. Make sure it is at 90. If you are overbent or underbent a little bit, you can either, uh, if you've underbent, uh, underbent your U90, you can put it back in the bender and bend it just a little bit more. If you've overbent it, uh, what you can do is put it on the ground and actually um, take a little bit out by just pushing the, the conduit out just a little bit. And that will take out some of the bend. You don't want to do that too much because you can kink the, the conduit, but uh, just a little bit, it does actually help. Once you've done that, you want to put your uh, piece of pipe in the, co in the uh, connector, the initial one that you measured where the offset is. Make sure the offset is still in the right direction, that you turn that 90 um, when, you, or when you bent the 90, that it was turned the proper way. You're going to put a level on the side, and you're going to line that up. Just make sure it is straight, 90 degrees, and we are lined up with the connector there. That should fit in just nicely. So now that we have our pipe all ready to go, the next thing we have to do is actually uh, cut the pipe here to the length that we actually need. Now there's a couple ways you can actually do this. First off, um, and I would only use this if you really don't have anything else that's level um, and straight uh, in the building you're working in uh, or the, where, you, where your project board is. Um, but you can put your level on the side like this. Um, make sure your pipe is at 90 degrees, so you're gonna uh, make sure the bubble is exactly in between the two lines on your on your bender there, and you're gonna put a mark um, on the pipe itself, right where that conduit would be seated into the uh, connector. All right. The second and better way to do it, as long as you are able to, is if you have a uh, something solid to go off of, something straight that you know is 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 going to be straight, you could go off of that. And what that looks like is measuring from uh, that straight piece to here. So on this side of the connector is where you're going to be uh, measuring from. So roughly that is about five inches from the edge of this connector here on this side. Um, and basically you want to get the measurement from that side over to the end of the connector here. So from five inches to... Uh, about 14 and a half inches. So that will be your, your length for what you need. Okay, so we got our measurements. We have five inches from the edge on for the one box and 14 and a half to the other. Well, 14 and a half minus five inches is nine and a half inches. So if we measure this, and this is where my original mark was where I kind of uh, used my level to do it. We, sh we measure up and we do have nine and a half inches there. So that is a safe spot to cut. I'm gonna cut this and then I'll, I'll show you uh, the next part. So after you've cut the pipe, like I have here, and you've reamed it out so that there's no sharp edges, we're going to test fit uh, that conduit. So first thing we wanna do is put in the bottom bit right here, and that goes in, and then the top fit will go into the top. You might have to uh, pull on it a little bit to make it go in, but we have a uh, conduit now that is um, basically sized up where it needs to be. We can check for level to make sure it is level, put your level on there. And as you can see, it is perfect. We do have a problem though. Um, and you've probably seen it at this point. Um, we have an offset on this side. We don't have an offset up there. We also don't have enough room to make another box offset up here. So that is a problem. How do we solve this problem? Well, now we have to kick that 90. Uh, and what that means is we're basically going to uh, get rid of this level here. We're going to bend our 90, uh, sorry, bend a small little kick that will pull that 90 away from the wall. And basically this whole thing will almost become an offset. So it's going to zoom out here, um, kick the 90 out. So the 90 will come up like this, 
kick out and into the box. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So when you're putting a kick in your conduit, you do have to make sure you're gonna be kicking out this conduit the proper way or the correct way. You want this 90, at this point, the way it is, to come off the wall this way. Easiest way to do it, I tend to line up my bender just shy of where I started my, my uh, 90 degree bend uh, on that mark, because it's already there. And then you're going to need to use your level. Now that level needs to say on the bubble, um, as before you start to bend, that it is level, uh, that that conduit is level. You don't want this 90 to be going uh, one direction or another. You don't want it to be, um, you want it to be a straight 90. So once that's level, you're going to put a small bend in that, okay? It doesn't have to be a lot. So I've just put a little bit of a bend in it. I'm gonna take my bender out. At this point now, I'm going to take my tape measure, hold that down to where um, I bent it, and you're going to hold that level and see that it is one half of an inch. So um, it is not a lot of a bend that you actually need in this section here. It's just, it's even less than a 10 degree bend. Um, and you have to remember, as you bend uh, further to the end or further away from the end, the even small bends here are going to be big fluctuations in height on this side. So once we've put our kick in, and you can see now there is a tiny kick in that conduit itself. Uh, where it offsets on the bottom and kicks out on the top. We're going to put our 90 in, or our conduit in the bottom box, and you're going to fit in the top. And now you can see, uh, it's not like before, we were able to get a uh, strap right there. It goes into the box nice and straight, uh, just like that. And we do have an offset on the bottom half. So that is uh, your kick 90 with a offset.